Wind turbines are one of the main sources of sustainable, non-polluting energy. Yet their design is still based on technology that is more than 400 years old. Even the most modern wind turbines are still only 30 to 35 percent efficient. Medium and high power electricity must either be used or lost simply because it can't be stored. They need a specific, secure location to be safe and efficient. The rotation of the blade often kills birds, and their noise and vibration can cause people headaches, nausea, and insomnia. And the spinning of the blade scrambles TV and radio signals. Don't you see that it's the blade's rotation that's behind all these problems? Specialists have spent decades trying to make the wind turbine more efficient and less expensive, and they're still trying. Our aim wasn't to improve the current turbine technology, but rather to come up with a radical new solution. And we, the Safon Energy team, have found it. We simply designed a non-rotational blade-free system, the Safonian, a zero-blade wind converter. With Safon Energy, wind energy has reached a new level. The zero-blade system goes beyond the BETS limit. The captured kinetic wind energy can be converted and stored, an easy and affordable energy storage option that addresses the issue of intermittency. Initial empirical tests of the Safonian prototype have shown that our system is twice as efficient as conventional wind turbines, and it's at least 45% cheaper to manufacture. The Safonian is silent, so no insomnia, nausea, or headaches, and birds can fly free. Invelox is simply a better way to harvest wind energy. Invelox captures, concentrates, accelerates, and harvests wind power at its highest energy density, resulting in affordable, abundant, environmentally friendly, safe, and clean electrical power. Patented Invelox, named for increased velocity, is designed to capture wind from any direction, funneling it to increase speed, then squeezing it through a venturi to turbocharge the wind for safe harvesting at ground level using multiple turbines in a row or series, converting it into electrical power. Finally, a diffuser is used to return wind to nature. Here's how it works. Invelox is the highest performing, most cost-effective wind power generation system ever made. This elegantly simple concept captures wind at the top of a tower or a building rooftop. Wind is then concentrated using a funnel and delivered to a Venturi system which squeezes and accelerates the wind, allowing it to be harvested at its highest energy density by multiple turbines safely installed at ground level. So what makes it better? Invelox increases wind speed. This means we can now harvest wind power in places never before possible with winds as low as 2 miles per hour. It generates electricity at less than 2 cents per kilowatt hour, drastically reduces operation and maintenance cost because turbines are at ground level. Plus, by using multiple turbines in the system, there is near zero downtime. Invelox provides sustainable, affordable electrical energy nearly anywhere. But the Tacoma Narrows disaster led to the development of a wind tunnel to reproduce the same conditions that brought the bridge down, in turn leading to the development of a revolutionary bladeless wind turbine, the Vortex Bladeless. Prototypes were 40 centimeter tall cylindrically shaped tubes and larger versions are being tested in the field. The key lies in harnessing the energy caused by the movement of the structure as it moves with the wind. As aeroelastic coupling increases, so too does energy generation, a formula that could make this structure the most affordable wind turbine on the market. One prototype works in average wind speeds of between 1.5 and 7 meters per second. The next step is to build a turbine capable of generating electricity in winds of between 3 and 15 meters per second. Wind and electromagnetism. No gear assemblies, ball bearings or any other elements that easily wear down with time and friction. The perfect formula for a low-cost, low-maintenance turbine that is adaptable to all needs, including those areas with no connection to the grid or for self-consumption. In 2009, American inventor Jerry Brock shattered a theory held as scientific law for almost a century. The theory held that no wind turbine could capture more than 59.3% of the kinetic energy in the wind. And no wind turbine had come close. 
Brock developed a turbine with a sophisticated diffuser system to break the law, called the Betts Limit. His innovative design uses the wind to push the blades to start rotating, like traditional turbines. But the diffuser system around the blades also creates two vacuums. One behind the blades and another behind the turbine to pull air through. This push and pull technology was proven to exceed the Betz limit. It produced twice the energy of other turbines. Now Brock's company, Wind Tamer Corporation, is using this patented technology to take wind power where it hasn't gone before. The efficient technology allows wind tamer turbines to produce energy at lower heights and wind speeds.